Hey guys, this is Mr. Sal. We're going to go through four different problems that um, require operating with fractions in word problems. So we're going to do each of them individually, but we're going to do them all in the same video here so that you guys can see and compare how they're worded and how we operate on these. So the first one here, Mark walks to the store and takes the bus home. He lives three-fourths miles away from the store. If he walked to the store eight days this week, how many miles do Mark or does Mark walk? So let's go ahead and figure this one out. So he lives three fourths miles away from the store, um, and he's only gonna, he's only going one way on this thing, right? So he walks to the store, and that's what we want. We want to know how much he walks, and then the bus home. We don't need to worry about the trip home, so it's not like we're doubling anything here, uh, but. This is going to happen for eight consecutive days. So the amount that he walks to the store, three-fourths miles. But this is going to happen eight times. So it's like eight groups of three-fourths, which means we're going to multiply these as fractions. So I've got eight times three, which is 24, and one times four, which is four. So I have 24 divided by four, which would be six. So a total, after the eight days, Mark walked six miles. All right, on this one, Shazam made 14 quarts of juice. Each glass holds seven-tenths of a quart. How many glasses can she serve? So Shazam, um, I don't know what kind of name that is, but uh, in any case, that's what we got. We got 14 quarts of juice, all right? So that's what we're going to start with. And we're really asking how many times 7 tenths goes into the 14 quarts or how many 7 tenths fits into the 14. So that's a division problem. We're going to take the 14 quarts and divide it by 7 tenths. And this will tell us how many times 7 tenths goes into 14. Now, this is dividing a fraction. We don't really want that. We want to multiply it. And if we do, we need to reciprocate this fraction to be 10 sevenths. So I end up with 14. We'll make it 14 over 1 times 10 over 7. 14 times 10 is 140. And 1 times 7 is 7. And this looks pretty good because we can see the 14 and the 7. 14 is a multiple of 7. So if I did 14 divided by 7, I would get 2. But just don't forget the 0 here right here so that's really just 20 now this is a word problem so don't just leave it as 20 this would be 20 glasses all right here's our third problem a recipe calls for four and three-fourths cups of flour Samantha is making seven-eighths of the recipe so how many cups should she use well, if Samantha's making seven-eighths of the recipe, then we've got to figure out how much the recipe calls for, and that is four and three-fourths cups. Now, seven-eighths of that would be the same as multiplying by the four and three-fourths. See, what that's going to do is going to simplify it down, and it will show us the smaller amount that she needs because she's not making a full recipe. Now, why is she making seven-eighths? I don't know, but that's the problem that we're given. So in order to multiply this, I'm going to change this 4 and 3 fourths into an improper fraction. So that would be 4 times 4, which is 16, and then plus the 3 would make that 19 fourths. And then I would multiply that by 7 eighths. Now this is already multiplication, so I don't really need to worry about changing this um, or, or reciprocating the 7 eighths there. I certainly don't need common denominators because this is multiplication. So first I'm going to do 19 times 7, which I'll show the work over here. 7 times 9 is 63, carry the 6. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 6 is 13. So my new numerator is 133, and 4 times 8 is 32. As it turns out, this can't be simplified. Uh, at least as an improper fraction, but what we can do is change this into a mixed number. So we want to know how many times 32 goes into 133, 
And 32 is not one that I'm familiar with, so I'm just going to show the multiples. So 32 plus 32 is 64, plus 32 would be 96, plus 32 would be hmm, 128. So that looks like it's big enough. It looks like 32 will go into 133 four times. Four times 32 is 128. So when I subtract, I get a remainder of 5. So we had 32 going into 133 four times with our remainder of 5. And this is in size sizes of 30 seconds. Now this is, again, a word problem. So I do want to label this in cups. 4 and 5 30 seconds cups of flour. All right, this is the last problem in the set. Here we have a turtle that is walking at 19 hundredths miles per hour. And what we want to know is how long it will take the turtle to walk one fourth of a mile. Now what this is really asking is how many times 19 hundredths goes into a fourth. So we're gonna have to take the fourth and we're gonna divide it by the 19 hundredths. This will tell us how many 19 hundredths fit into the one-fourth. Now this is a division of fractions which we don't want, we want multiplication. But again to change this to multiplication I need to reciprocate that fraction into a hundred nineteenths. So I've got one-fourth times one hundred nineteenths and when I multiply these out one times one hundred is one hundred and four times nineteen we can show the work over here so 4 times 9 is 36. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 is 76. So this is what we get. And we see both of these are even numbers. So I'm going to divide each by 2 at least. And that would give me 50 over 76 divided by 2 should be 38. And again, more even numbers. So we're going to divide these by 2 to simplify it even further which would make this 25 nineteenths. That should be about as far as we can simplify that. Now that would be good uh, for us if we were looking for the improper fraction, but what I really want here is the mixed number. So I'm going to take the 25 and I will divide it by the 19. This one's not too bad. 19 goes into 25 one time. So 1 times 19 is 19, subtract, and I get a remainder of 6. So that would be the same. 25 nineteenths would be the same as 1 hour and 6 nineteenths hours. So if this turtle was walking at that speed, he could make that quarter mile in 1 hour and 6 nineteenths. Let me rephrase that. 1 and 6 nineteenths hours. All right, so we made it through all four problems. I hope that helped you guys out. Thanks for watching. If it did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and make a comment below. That would help me out. We'll see you guys in the next video.